Hey guys, what the foo here, and we are back with Tales of Zestiria. Now we're gonna protrude and liberate Pendrago. And why did I say protrude? Okay, let's go ahead and continue. Wait for the night. How else must I wait for night? Okay, so go to the inn. That's probably the best way to actually get to change the day of the have to wait for nightfall to sneak into the castle why don't we chill at the inn for a bit yeah rose i was just about to answer that thank you fuck you <laughs> uh, okay uh fuck you wolves all right let's up uh... is there anything that i'm gonna be missing okay i guess not um let's is this the inn okay it is Let's uh, do this, save first. All right, let's go ahead and talk with them and save a little bit. Let's see, Dragon Stew. Oh, do that one. Yee. All right, so let's hopefully continue from here. Excited a little bit. Wait, is it nighttime yet? Let's see what happens. Do you want me? I mean, where do you want me to go? I did. Oh, here it is. That's what you want me to do? Well, if it ain't the boss. Welcome, welcome. You idiot. Lunar. Lunar, what the fuck? But fuck you. Look you. Like a hellion. <laughs> oh dear, look at that face. You're scaring me, boss. <laughs> we don't have time to toy with the likes of you. Come on, I'll settle this right here and now. <laughs> what exquisite anger. It makes me so hungry. Here he comes. Okay, don't have to tell me twice. The malevolence he emits is incredibly strong. You mean it's just like with the cardinal before? Don't think about anything else until we beat it. Got it. Oh, cool. I did not do that. I won't lose. You won't end here. I won't lose. This isn't over. Don't piss me off! Yeah. That wasn't too bad. Let you take care of it. No worries. What? And easy. Please pick one. Die. No thanks. Exactly. Damn it! Still not enough? What do you mean? End of the line, Lunar. No! Got it! What's going on? Why the change? What is this feeling? Watch out! There's someone else here! Might you refrain from acting out of turn? That voice! Shut up! Don't interfere with me! Foolish, reckless fox. Your role was to lead them on, if you recall. If you act recklessly and provoke his anger, what will we do then? <sighs> Wait! This wasn't the plan. But I'm flexible. Whoa! What? What the? Clones? Clones, maybe? Burn! Uh, 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 I feel kind of awkward. So what was that just now? So it kind of feels like. I'm almost right, but at the same time, let's uh, let the cutscene play through. What? That's the end of that. You'd better go after him, or you'll lose him, girl. Surely you won't let him get away with such a vile betrayal. Then that so-called job offer—it was a trap. Damn it. Ugh, fuck you. Fuck you. 
quit messing around and show yourself! Fuck you, Peter Parker. <laughs> What's your hurry? Relax. This is just the opening act. What oh, act? When you're good and dead. Okay, so this is the girl. Do you know whose voice that is? How could I forget? That's who I've been after for so long. What? Haven't you noticed, Lila? I have. There is no malevolence within this domain. That's so weird. Meaning that whoever's generating this isn't a Hellion. What could this mean? It means that I was right. If you guys remember me saying it correctly, he had things to settle, and that girl is it. I mean, from what I, what I can remember, it sounds like, and I was correct with it, where um, this girl was the one that's leading people to fight against each other. You've seen her in the in Earth and Historias. She she was always there at the scene, so it makes sense. At enough, all right. Come on, let me out. His will is not to be ignored. Do I make myself clear? Yes. I'm sorry. Wow. Lunar is scared, so... Let's pause for a second, because, like, I can't get my sentence straight. She was in all the Earth and Historia that you saw with her along with me. Um, she was the ones at the back like in the back scenes of all those fights. So I'm thinking that's what she did to Dezel and his group of wind Seraph. She got into their business. She made them fight amongst each other and Dezel is angry at her for making them that way. Let's find out if I'm correct, but it sounds like I'm correct. Yeah. What happened? Did he sacrifice himself? What? The church changed. What is going on? There she is. Little Miss Lolly. Rather productive for an opening act. What splendid anger you've shown me, girl! If it should blossom into hatred... Oh, but how happy he will be! Who is she? I've waited so long. Indeed, the time is ripe for both of us. Wait, Dazzle! She's not a Hellion! Like I give a damn. You turn my friends into Hellions and drag the name of the Wind Riders through the mud?! What are you talking about, Dezel? Dezel? <laughs> Do you mean to say that the girl still doesn't know? D splendid. Oh, how splendid. <laughs> the perfect scene has been set. Dezel, no! Let me go. This moment is what I've been living for. Everyone stop. This whole thing is wrong. Saray... Dazzle, what's going on? Um, Rose. Dear, dear girl. Rose. I can fill you in. In a desperate effort to preserve and continue the Wind Riders, who were his last concrete connection to his dead comrade, this Seraph abused your remarkable resonance to periodically commandeer your body, steering you all into the darkness, recreating the Wind Riders as an assassin's guild. <clears throat> That explains the resonance. In his quest to kill a Hellion, he set his sights on the power of the Armatus, using you over and over as a vessel to enact his vengeance. It was all right, he thought. It was all to avenge his friend. I do wonder if you agree. Oh, God. That's right. And to take my revenge against you, I would do it all again in a heartbeat! That's enough, creepy little girl, for now. Yeah, there's something wrong about all of this. Let's get out of here! I think not. Oh god. What is that? A Hellion? Why? If words alone won't make you remember. Well, like I said, I'm flexible. Um, tentacle fetish? Dang it. Fuck. Sorry, Rose. Um, we'll talk about it later. 
That's the only reason I live! Oh, how lost you are in the delusion of self-affirmation. What are you saying? It's quite pitiful, really. Though I do understand how you got like this. Lord of Water! This one's tough. Don't slide on the Think hard. What was it that you truly desired? Shut Back then, how and why did you lose your friend after killing a Hellion? What happens to its malevolence? Are you really so what does it happen? sure you want this to be your vengeance? Shut up! Blue flurry. Here it goes. Right. Open the what is she saying? I don't get it. At least I won. That's a good thing, right? Lila, get ready to purify her. Not this time. I'm gonna kill her. Use the use the bullet. Use the bullet. 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 Come on. Bullet. Bullet. What? Bullet. You mustn't. Bullet. Use the bullet. No, he's broken the path. Use the bullet, 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 bullet. Use the bullet. Tisk tisk. I can't let you do that. What? But why? Saray, this isn't the time. All right. <laughs> Come on. I hate you so much. Again, I I hate you so much. I hate you so much. So when it looked like you'd suddenly turned into a Hellion, precisely. Though for the record, the Hellion was real. God damn it! I hate you all, by the way. I can't. The Sublord has broken the pact. Can that even be done? Not usually. It can't be done from the Sublord's side. Really? How did that happen? Well, how did this all happen? There is something you should know, Shepard. What? Let me show you exactly what mischief your Seraph friend has wrought. What are you talking about? Come on. If I run, does that allow me to? That's all. But not every blessing of the Seraphim is one that brings fortune to the people. Come on. Come on. Finally, come on. Dezo, no. 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 No, please. Dezel, no, 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 no. I really, really enjoy traveling with them. We're so lucky. Yeah. Wait, so Dezel has been wearing his friend's clothes the whole time? I'm truly grateful. That's his friend and mentor, I suppose? And of course, I want to bring the Wind Riders under Rolens's wing. You're the greatest in the land. But engagement to you, Prince Conan? It's like a dream. I'm sorry to see our journey end, but all's well that ends well. No. I don't want this to end. What? What did he do? Don't let up out there. Go. Prince Conan, the captain is missing. Get away what? From right now. <laughs> Who are you to order me around? He's he's already a hellion. Huh? Who are you talking to? You all smell so... so delicious. It's driving me wild! Wait... Is Lunier the Prince Conan? What? How could he have completely turned into a Hellion in such a short amount of time? She sounds happy.
Your Highness, what is this nonsense about us killing the first Imperial Prince? Guards! The traitor scum are here! What? A trap, huh? You sick lunatic! What? How can this be? It appears that Brad, the leader of the Windriders, has murdered the Prince. He is already in custody of the Pendrago City Guard. All other Windriders are likewise under arrest. Including the wife? It's all because Prince Conan became a Hellion, and at the urging of his Hellion greed, he sought to eliminate all hindrances. What? And by now, I imagine that you've already guessed what made him a Hellion. Have you not? What? Him. What? I might be willing to pardon you, at least, if you'll agree to be mine. Rose. What? <laughs> oh, come now. You'd be the kept woman of the heir to the throne! A greater honor does not exist. <sighs> Why you? Come on! Oh, he, that's why he, his friend died. His friend died because he sacrificed himself for Rose. Is that, oh, that's why. Behold, this is the fruit of your blessing. Do you have any idea what people call those with this kind of power? Angels of Death. It was all my fault. Dazzle, I'm sorry. All my fault. The Hellion is real because the Hellion is his friend. She never killed his friend off. Oh, God. Looks like someone finally remembers his past. <gasps> oh! Rose! Rose! Jezzle! No! Move it! Rose! Rose, no! <laughs> Rose! And now the real fun starts, Shepard. Pay close attention. What happened? Rose! No, 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 no! No, no, no. Uh, no. Gross. Dazzle, don't move. Got it? Why? Why you? You mustn't! Rose is horribly wounded. Even if you purify the malevolence, she doesn't have the strength to handle the burden! Oh, God. Guard. You mustn't attack now! Rose will- What? If we don't do anything, Rose will become a Hellion! Except her wounds what? will kill her even Let's before that happens. A shepherd is faced with difficult choices sometimes. Oh, God, I hate you. I hate you, by the way, you little cunt. Oh god, why do I hate you so bad? Side quickly, Shepard. Your darling comedian doesn't have long. Silence! What? What? Hold do I see? Get back for a moment. I have a plan. What? What plan do you have? Dezel. What are you trying to do? Oh, Shepard, do quit your desperate flailing about. You risk making a mess of the grand stage I spent all this time preparing. Sorry. Listen. Dezel, don't push yourself. Just listen to me. We have to... 
sever the bond between Rose and the Hellion. Even for the Shepherd, that would be nothing short of a miracle. It's impossible. Surrey, hand me that thing you cut from Savid. Shoots the shoot her with the gun. Fire strength itself, right? Then I shall be that strength. I shall be your attack. What? what Why? Even as he is absorbed into the Hellion, he'll become an attack with a will of its own. He'll find the bond between Rose and the Hellion and sever it without hurting her body. That's your sacrifice? That's if I can summon up the last reserves of my strength and merge them with the power stored in this one remaining bullet, I can stay myself long enough to break the bond while leaving Rose untouched. Sarai, neither Rose nor I can afford to waste any more time. <laughs> you understand, don't you? Jessel? No! No. Counting on you. Don't mess this up! What do you want me to do? Come on. Do I just attack? Lord of Wind! That's all, I'm sorry. That's all. I'm so sorry. It was me. I caused you, the Windriders, everyone to suffer. It's all my fault. That's what was bugging you? I suppose from the outside it looked like we were suffering. But as far as I'm concerned, these have been the happiest years of my life. Five years ago, when everything went pear-shaped, we could have been tossed to the winds. But instead, we got to travel again together as the scattered bones and the sparrow feathers. I was so happy. In fact, I'm grateful to you. Really. Hey, come on. There's got to be more you want to say. I'm useless. In the end, I wasn't good for a damn thing. But I can say I did one thing right. Just one. And that one right thing made everything else worthwhile. I'm eternally grateful to you too, Rose. Thank you. He got his eyes back! But he's still Tell dead. And the others. That it wasn't all bad. Romping around those ruins with all those nutballs. I will. And if they get bummed out about this... Tell them, hey, I thought you had good to do in the world. Keep moping and crying, and I'll chain you up so tight you can't even breathe. And then, give him a good kick in the ass for me. Yeah. Good luck. Tessel. Right Keep on keeping on. No. Yeah. That's all. Rose. Oh, thank goodness. Is the Hellion still there? I guess not. So, how does it feel? What do you think, Shepard? To be as infatuated with someone as he once was? Is it not right that Seraphim, whose blessings only cause misfortune, should not be allowed to exist? 
Was you. not his very existence evil to the core and deserving of extermination? No. Lies! You've got quite a bark, girl. Those are some plucky words from one who once sought to kill the shepherd for the same reasons. <laughs> who are you anyway? I am Simone. Like him, a wretched, pitiable seraph, burdened with countless sins. <sighs> Savid's too late. And now, Exeunt. Wait! I suggest you make time to grieve. His hat. He didn't. He didn't like. He didn't leave with his hat. But good. A hellion. I'm depressed. I told everyone to meet here tomorrow morning. Sometimes it's best to be alone for a while. Thanks, Miklio. Saray. Don't worry about it too much. <laughs> I need a bit of a walk myself. Yo. Dezel's death, his shameful acts, and the things Simone said. Perhaps they're all things the Shepherd has to accept in order to quell the Lord of Calamity. I'm just not sure how to feel about it all. I was thinking you should quit. What? Just hear me out. I used to think that when the Shepherd was getting crushed and overwhelmed by his duty or by his destiny, that it was something that you could just up and quit. Until yesterday, that is. Things are different now. For Dezel's sake, if nothing else, I want to find the answers. That's right. It isn't even some feeling of obligation, so much as... I just want to know, in the hope that we won't make the same mistakes again. So that's why I no longer think you should quit. No longer we definitely think. have to find some answers. Right. And it isn't just the Shepherd's duty either. This journey is something we, all of us, need to own. That's true. Thank you. There's no need for thanks. I just said how I truly feel. Mikhail has gotten very much more mature. Because when you think about it, it makes sense because a lot of these things right now, they're just, they're just more questions to answer. And who's... Who's... who's okay, he's, he, they're upstairs. But who's... I think the best thing is just to trying to understand is why did everything happen that way it's not something that can just happen on purpose or meant I figure out why all these things are it makes sense that she's a seraphim and that's what she's been all those um struggles but our friend the creepy little girl she said she was burdened with sins Right. And she also said that the Shepherd must know the truth of Seraphim, who carries such sorrowful burdens. Of those whose mere existence means human suffering. Sometimes death can be a release. If just by living, one causes terrible things to happen, then death would be... Edna! Stop right there! I'm not talking about Dazzle, you idiot. You shouldn't be saying that about your brother, either! That's true. So what if I did? They're just words. It's probably nothing you haven't heard before anyway. Doesn't matter. I still don't like it. I don't want to hear it right now. Oh. Then there's nothing to discuss. Yeah. Saray. All I was really trying to say is that I think Dazzle was saved in a way. I chose my words poorly, and it was wrong of me. I apologize. Thank you, Edna. 
Don't mention it. Oh, she's blushing a little. <laughs> but it's not wrong. I mean, at this point, if should I fight the side quest that is Edna's brother, I think we do have to do nothing else but kill him. Unless some way he ends up being purified. Just so weird and so meta. Gosh. Lila, what are you doing? Praying. Oh, this? That's incredible! How'd you do that? Oh yeah, she had paper. Making paper crafts like this really takes the edge off for me. I forget about all my cares, and it's like I just enter my own little world. I see. Saray, you've got to stop carrying the burden all by yourself. I think this one's gonna be tough, even if I share the burden. I find myself wondering, was there anything else I could have done? Should we have talked it over first? I just start thinking about things. There's nothing we should, could have talked about even. Moments of reflection are good for the spirit, Saray. But regrets solve nothing. What's this? Humans have a custom. Sometimes they send a paper boat down a river imbued with a remembrance of their lost one so that it may reach them. Since Dezel was a wind seraph, I thought maybe a bird that soars through the air would be more fitting. <laughs> now, Saray, let's send it off. <laughs> That's so cool. I'm sure it reached him. Lila. Yes? Thank you. But you mustn't try to carry the burden all by yourself either. I'll be quite fine. There's no need to worry. It's a lie. I'm going to stay up here for a while. The wind feels comforting. I can feel the wind. All right, then. I'll leave you to it. Oh, God. Okay. That was so grease. I, too, have a ways to go. Can you feel the wind? Where's Rose? I can't even find Rose. Can't find Rose. Why? Wait, I can't find Rose. Where is Rose? Rose. Rosie. Rosie. Posy. I can't find you. Actually, that's kind of weird. I literally cannot find you. There's one, and then two. She might be over here. <laughs> I feel like she's in a very farther part of the town, but... Where is he? I feel like she's together with Zavid back at where he died. <sighs> I mean... I mean, in the sense that Rose... Rose did lose everything once. Her, uh, calm her things up, but then at the same time, it just it became whole again. As soon as Dezel like did what he did, he kind of forced everyone to get back together and everything. But hey, what you know is it with uh, the hat? Hey, Shepard, tell me something. How was Dezel in his last moments? He was smiling. So. He was, was he? I guess he got his wish after all. Zavid, you knew Dezel, didn't you? Sort of. There was a time my comrades and I saved him, when he was just a little rascal. Oh. Hmm. Is that why your fighting styles are so similar? Yep. He learned by copying me. And yet... I don't think he even remembered who I was. That fellow tossed everything away, even his memories. <laughs> That's too bad. But if something gets thrown away, you just gotta find it again. And you found it for him, didn't you? Supposedly, I guess. Hey, are you trying to comfort me, Zavid? <laughs> you bet I am. 
You're gonna be my all-important vessel pretty soon. Can't have you getting all malevolent on me. <laughs> what? And on that note, I think I'll go talk to Lila about that sublord pact. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah. Well, I can't exterminate the Hellions all by myself anymore, can I? And besides, if I tag along with you, I can collect your debt to me whenever I like. Like that. You can't just decide something like that. Oops, I did. <laughs> anyway, see you tomorrow, Sheps. <laughs> that lousy. Fuck. Fuck you too. Fuck you too, Peter Parker. Peter Parker is so fucking idiot. Peter Parker can feed a weird. Huh? Back there, I spoke with Dezel during his last moments. And when I saw him then, I remembered something that I'd forgotten long ago. I had met him before, when I was really little. I realized he'd probably been protecting me ever since, my whole life. Rose, Dezel didn't want you to know that. He said he wanted you to live believing you'd come this far by your strength alone. Yeah, I'm sure that's what he wanted. But I actually wish he'd just straight up told me, without knowing I was a jerk, self-absorbed and totally ungrateful to him. Well, sorry. From now on, you gotta tell me these things, alright? Right. This is actually a load off my mind. I was worried you'd be, you know, devastated. Yeah, I don't know. A whole lot of things happened all at once. And somehow, it doesn't feel like I'll never see him again. And the garbage that crazy Simone chick was spouting? I think it says more about her problems than anything else. I suppose. I mean, it makes Rose, sense. you're my hero. Aw, adorable. Oh, I just don't like to think too much. <laughs> anyway, Saray, you get some good rest. I will. Rose, thank you so much, but... Yes, yeah, so time to go to sleep. After all we all went through. Although, I probably shouldn't have traveled over there. I mean, that would have saved me a lot more time, but... Ah! Uh, I talked to everyone, and I got Zavid as a... Sublord! Sublord? Sublord! Alright. What now? Now what? Sabine! Morning, Saray. Did you sleep well? Yeah. You don't look like it. Yo, Saray! Oh, Zavid. You're still here. Ouch! Lila, is he always this cold? Yeah. Well, it looks like <laughs> everyone's here. Care to explain why you wish to enter the Sublord Pact? No problemo. My goal is directly connected to the Shepherd's journey. Your goal? Oh yeah, you said there were people you had to settle the score with. Okay. Right, one of them being little Miss Edna's older brother. And the other? Mautelis. Mautelis of the Five Lords? Really? The entire Glenwood continent is supposed to be under his protection, right? Mm -hmm. Except our baby boy toddled off somewhere, and right at that exact time, the Lord of Calamity shows up. Isn't that funny? Would you say Maltellus and Lord of Calamity are the same being? It can't be. I didn't think it could be either, at first. But if Maltellus really did become a Hellion and bind with Heldolf... We'll need to confirm that's what happened. Lila. The only way to do that is to approach him directly. Maybe, but we need to be able to stand against Heldolf's domain, or we're sunk. And that's where I come in. How so? If you'll let me fill the desil shaped hole in your group, together we should be strong enough. How about it? It's in all our best interests, right? Yeah, you're not wrong. What do you believe we should do? Saray! No! Uh, what were we talking about again? God damn it. Hey, can I have the floor? Huh? Hey! I thought you had.
got good to do in the world. Keep moping and crying, and I'll chain you up so tight you can't even breathe. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> That's what he said. Oh, and he asked me to kick your ass a little too while I was at it. Oh. And then I. Rose. I told him I'd do my best out there. And so that's why. That's why I'm damn well gonna do my best out there. <laughs> Rose. Why? why am I crying like this? Rose. You knew this is your child. I was really, really glad he got to travel with all of you. And I. I didn't even notice. But in the end, he was smiling. If only I talked with him more. Oh, Rose. <laughs> oh, forget it. I'm done. Thank you for delivering his message to us. He was a kind watchdog up until the very end. <laughs> I'll say. Guess you'll be okay from now on, oh, Rose. I'm okay. Are you okay? <laughs> All right, let's go. Hold your horses. Don't I get a packed thingy? <laughs> Forgot. <laughs> I suppose. All righty. So, now what do we do? Just as planned. We're heading to Glavend Basin. Since it's the place where we first met Heldolf. Glavend Basin, huh? Here we go. Yeah, right? Here we go. Wait, I need to dress you up. I need to dress you up. Not too bad. On our way to that area. Okay, to Glavade, Glavade Basin. Alright, now what stories? Power of the Wind. You said you'd fill in for Dezel, right? A man never goes back on his word. Well, unless it's with the ladies. But can you really do it? Oh, ho, ho. you doubt me, huh? Come on, you've seen what I can do. <sighs> yeah, but only because you practically forced it on us. I said I was sorry, jeez. <laughs> we get how strong you are? But what about the spiritual power of wind? You don't have to go back and get it? Not to worry. The shepherd takes those spiritual powers into his being. So there's nothing to worry about. Especially not with an able and handsome wind seraph like me. <laughs> Alright then. I won't let you down. I'll see to it you don't. I'm a little surprised. You're quite knowledgeable about spiritual powers and shepherds. <laughs> well, I am a well-experienced grown-ass man after all. You know you can always count on me. Well, somehow I'm not so sure that I can. <laughs> Crazy evade. <laughs> he wants to fit in. I know this is real sudden, but there's something I want to ask y'all so I can fit in a little better. What? Tell me your weaknesses. Why? Let me tell you something <laughs> like that. Hey now, that's cold, Mick boy. I'll tell you mine to make it fair. On days when the temperature is low, I get cold. That makes sense. Yeah, because you don't wear any clothes. <laughs> oh, I see how it is. You want something juicier? Let me tell you something. If a girl starts crying, <laughs> there's nothing I won't do for her. Didn't need to know that, thanks. Yeah. You guys are tough customers. All right, try this one on for size. I'm strong against Earth, but weak against We fire. know that. We knew that. That's no good either. Well, then here's a juicy tidbit that'll rock your world. As far as I can tell, from the waist up, Lila is... This isn't even about weaknesses anymore. <laughs> Looks like you're fitting in just fine, I'd say. <laughs> oh god. Hey Zavid, I want to ask you about something you mentioned. Oh, hmm. Is this your response to my love confession? <laughs> Don't try and weasel your way out of this. You said there was something you had to settle with my brother. That's all there is to it, really. There's just something between us we need to settle. And that something is? I told him, please let me marry your little sister, and he punched me. Don't lie. Oh, come on, he'd totally do something like that. True. Fine, don't tell me then. <laughs> no wonder he's worried about her all the time. So what's this really about? Did Edna's brother ask a favor from you or something like that? Hmm? Who wants to know? Uh, I mean, Does it have us. something to do with the oath? Nah, it's not that big of a deal. 
But even so, a promise between men is just as sacred. Supposedly, yeah. There you go. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> Are they married? It all might be too much for mere humans to bear. I shouldn't have taken them along. Oh, it's so useless to say that now. They could have stayed home in their rooms if they didn't want to deal with it. They went out of their own accord. Yeah, and I don't think either of them expect or want anyone to take responsibility for their being dragged into this. Both of them seem so used to living with the Seraphim. Wonder if they were always like this. Saray and I were raised together ever since we were just babies. There was a time when you were a baby? <laughs> That's rude. My bad, my bad. I'm sure you were a sweet, well-behaved little guy back in your day. Yeah. It's too bad I'm not like that anymore, huh? Lie. That's a lie. You know, there's something I've been wondering. Yeah, what? You're an Earth Seraph, right? So why do you use an umbrella for a weapon? Isn't that more like a water element? I guess I can tell you. Ready to have your mind blown? I'm using it precisely because I'm an Earth Seraph. Huh? Really? You know about the dominant relationships among the elements. Earth, water, fire, and wind, right? Earth is stronger than water. Meaning that especially when using seraphic arts, you can increase your mana output by using the subordinate element as a catalyst. What? Just to let you know, Lila has been using wind-imbued paper, and Dezel's pendulum has been using earth and minerals as their catalysts. The staff that you've been using is fundamentally an earth element. You'd have to be a complete idiot for using something like that as a water seraph. <laughs> is what I'd like to say, but I'll hold back. But you did just say it! Well, if you've been using it as a way to train yourself, or a way to incorporate physical attacks on top of seraphic arts, then you're not doing it completely wrong, at least. True. The longer you live, the easier it is for you to choose to do what takes the least amount of effort. But if you really aren't satisfied and want to grow stronger, then you're just going to have to do things the hard way, if you want to go beyond whatever ability you were born with. Huh. Anyways, you've been using your staff without knowing what it's for. Good job, dummy. <laughs> that's actually... That's actually interesting, too, because... Wait. Fire used the water... Fire used... So, okay, so... Um, fire to earth, earth to wind, wind, no, fire beats wind, that beats earth, that earth beats water, water beats fire, so that means Mikli has to use a water based weapon. No, Earth Mikli has to use a fire based weapon. But uh, how is he gonna do that? Do I need to go behind it again? Uh, I swear to god, if I need to go behind this entrance, then I'm gonna flock shit over. Flock you two. Come on. Not too bad. How hard could it be? Wait, oh fuck, I forgot to equip him. Fuck you! Oh. Okay, so let's continue from. Let's go to the one spot where I, I fell into the crevice, I guess. So then, now what do we do? Now we wait and fight to the end? Yeah, to the end of death? To the end of our ways? What happened? It looks like Heldolf wasn't in Glavend. Indeed. Were he near us, we'd surely have felt the strength of his domain. I guess we'll have to search somewhere else. But we'll need at least some clue as to where he is. Agreed. I hate wasting my time. Edna. Hiding such a large amount of malevolence shouldn't exactly be an easy task. Hmm. <sighs> malevolence, huh? I remember feeling an unusually strong level of malevolence before. Where? When was that? Right after we fought earlier. It was when we were heading back to Pendrago from the Guinevere Shrine. So, maybe southwest of Pendrago? Alright, let's check it out. You guys really gonna go on such a shot in the dark? Yeah. Sounds like it's worth a look. We've got nothing to lose. If this ends up being a waste of time, I swear I'll stab you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, I'll keep that in mind. What do you have to say? Why are you here? Okay, let's uh, travel like the guy said. Let's use the save point up there, hopefully. But I think they'll block me either way. Let's check out the shrine, I suppose. Come on. This is Southwest of Pendrag. Oh, shit. This domain, it's so strong. Heldolf is here. There's no mistaking it. The final showdown, huh? Nah, I don't think so. All the way here, he is a little flocker. I want to try. Like, not just like fight anyone else, just. Heldolf! Fuck you. Oh, okay, yeah, he's freaky strong. Why, sexy? This won't go like last time. I certainly hope that it won't. What do you mean? Do you think it's coincidence that you've encountered Hellion's domains at every turn? So what? This was all you're doing? Is that what you want to say? Is this your idea of being merciful? Be on your guard, Saray. Okay. Yeah, he's capable of anything. So, how are we supposed to find out if this guy really did bind with Mautelis? Ask. We'll just have to fight him head on. You got a death wish? Yeah. About that, then what? Tell me something, Heldolf. Are you? <laughs> I guess he'll tell me. What's he is Martellus. You talk far too much. <sighs> I am the Lord of Calamity, and thou art the shepherd. The meeting of the two is, by definition, conflict. Do you not agree? Yeah! Saray! Here he comes, everyone! Let's find him. Okay. Get behind. Show me what a vessel you are. I won't be pushed over that easily. Blade of Fight! Tiger Blade! Earth Dragon Bear! Let's turn around. No, we don't. Lila, you're not telling me something, Lila. You're gonna kill me. Let's keep it up. Go under. That's okay. So I did not do too well. Granted, I did a really bad thing. And boop. Is that the last one really? What was that? Hard to believe you're the same rosy cheeked you as before. We're making Ooh. progress, but I got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, no shit. Can you keep up? Come to the wings. So this yeah, you're attractive. You like that? Are you happy? What? Keep fighting like this, and you'll strike me down. Can't you feel it? Is that not what you truly wish inside? What? What are you saying? You yearn for it. You crave it. <laughs> Would you drown in this fountain of ecstasy you have created? Lila, it's time to settle this. What's wrong? Lila? 
Saray, if you finish this here, can you be absolutely sure you will not regret it later? That's right. Did we really come all this way just to smack old Kitty Beard around? Or was there something else? As you know, to quell the Lord of Calamity is the duty of the Shepherd. That is not incorrect. Is he challenging us? Do it if we can? No. The bastard's up to something. Simone! What? Yes. Dispose of them. What are you doing? Look out, everyone! You're too late! What do you mean? What's going on? They're imprisoned, wow. There's gotta be more to it than just uh quelling him. My my, you're finally putting some effort into it. How long do you think your malevolence can isolate him? For one of his strength, probably only about ten minutes. I apologize. Hmm, it will do. What have you done, Heldolf? What? Get ready. Cool, so it's just me and him. So what are they... Are they trying to get me? Dragon Fang! Cut through! Earth Dragon Fang! Cut through! The Storm of Flames surrounds me! You've underestimated me! Don't tell me the tables have turned! What? Flames of Crimson! I'll reject all my children! What is he trying to do at this point? Okay. Victory was close, yet now only anxiety and impending do- It can't end what? here! That was weird. Yes, I mean, it's weird, like, am I supposed to stall? Afraid not! Ready? Oh god, fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, you're so hot! You've underestimated me! Don't tell me the tables have turned! What? What? I can't move. Victory was close, yet now oh, only God. anxiety and impending doom. Fuck you. Fuck you. Don't let your emotions weigh Fuck you. He's Lila! Still you interfere! Fuck. 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 Live. Live. Survive. Survive. Fuck you. 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 Fuck all of your dong. Eat all of my testicles. Oh, fuck you. No. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh... No. Okay, I lasted. Now what? Beth Miss Mioma. <clears throat> All right, there we go. That's what I actually didn't think I can do that. Lila, Heldolf is trying to manipulate me while I'm still missing the full picture. What is it? Is that what you're trying to say? At this rate, he's just going to keep needling me. I'm a plaything to him! Saray, I understand! You've got to help every- You're not getting away! Simone. No escape! What happened? Lila! Lila, what's going on? Do not resist. I will resist. I will never give up! Resist. Do you not realize how warped it is to struggle so? Yes, it is. I don't care. What? Simone, release the squire. At once. Ow! What on... What's going on? Glad to see just what your resistance has earned you, Shepard. Water element? Why? 
What's going on? <laughs> and that was his fatal mistake, wasn't it, Lila? There you go, Rose. Be the boss. Resist this, dumbass. Do you really plan to slay her? A seraph? Yeah. Killing is my business. Or did you forget? Simone. Very well, as you wish. What's going on? What? What? Rose! Rose! Rose, you okay? You're a little wet. Are you okay? <laughs> You're a little wet. Don't worry about it. Rose, are you okay? Just just breathe. Get some air. Breathe. You can breathe. Toying with you has lost its charm. Shepherd Saray, work under me. Why? Should we not bring this world back to the way it was, together? What? Through what? Walking a path alongside the Lord of Calamity can only lead to malevolence. Surely you- And what is so strange about that? Malevolence will always be with us. It can only be dispelled by the scant few who hold the power of purification. Are you saying that's the way things should be? Hellions only bring pain! To humans and seraphim alike! And so it is therefore natural to resist malevolence? Absurd. Shepherd Saray, I repeat once more, join me. For too long have the seraphim been forced to fight the malevolence. Too long have they been chained, toiling away at their blessings. Let us restore them to their rightful form as Hellions! I refuse. That's a lie. And let us finish our battle once and for all. I refuse that as well. This is not the time. Really? Good so job. So you say. But one day you will discover it for yourself. The true nature of humans and seraphim in this world. Interesting. But what does he mean? Now, what does he mean by that? No mistake. That bearded menace is connected to Maltellus. When we were trapped by his malevolence, I felt a presence. But there wasn't even a trace of Maltellus back then. Think about it. What if you were convinced you couldn't see something, but it was right under your nose? It's something we see all the time and yet never notice. This? The ground? You mean the Hellion could be using the continent of Glenwood itself as a vessel? Right. There's only one guy out there who'd be capable of pulling it off. But if that's the case... Even if all this is true, is it possible to purify the land itself? If Heldalf were the vessel, it would make a lot more sense. But if the Earth is the vessel, why would Maltellus also be connected to Heldalf? Lila, tell me! Let's find Maltellus. If it's true that Heldalf is connected to Maltellus, who's become a Hellion using the Earth as a vessel. Then so long as we don't purify Maltellus, we'll never be able to quell Heldolf. But even with all the legends of Maltellus we've collected, there hasn't been a single clue as to his whereabouts. Lila? We should search for Maven. Maven? Old man Maven? He was there. That's right. He was journeying to study the legends surrounding Maltellus as well. We don't have a clue, but he just might. Yeah, but how are we supposed to he find him? I have an inkling. Let's go meet with the ones who protect the ruin of Logren and see what they think. Logren? Logren? That's the ruin in Zafgot Moor, right? What's yes. What's that? How do I get there? Then it's been decided. Let's get packing, Mebo. All right, all right. Just stop that. <laughs> Lila, tell us. Hey, are you okay with this? 
I trust him, though it is a gamble. I mean, Lila, you were there from the beginning. Zavid knows. Oh, fuck you. Because, like, okay, so let's see. If everything makes sense, I'm trying to figure out who was the water seraph. Don't fall. Who was the water seraph at this point? Because. Okay. If we look back at all the earthen historians, we saw a lot of people surrounding the shepherd before Sore. So, in the same way that Edna and uh, Zavid knew Lila, I'm thinking, theoretically, that the last. The last time he was, the last seraph had Lala's prime lord Zavid as the wind, Edna's brother as the earth, but we don't know the water seraph, but at the very least that tells us that much as to who is with the last seraph, and I'm thinking that Haldoth is actually the last seraph turned Hellion, uh, the last shepherd turned Hellion. And it was Maltellus who was corrupted that turned the shepherd into a Hellion. Yeah. And then he was then she was forever trapped in Highlands because of uh, fuck. I'm done. Okay, I'm gonna fight this little fucker. He was just there, Ziv. He was just there. He was just there, and he's gone. Fuck you. How do I get to Logger? Where's the Lodger? Let's check out the family first. Check out the family. Hello, Grandpa. Grandpa. Gramps! How are you? You stupid brat! What? Whoa, what's this all about? Don't you have something to say to me first? I don't remember raising a fool. I'm sorry for leaving without telling you. It's good to be home. Nice to meet you. My name is Rose. Well, in any case, I'm glad to see you're safe. The Lady Squire is welcome here as well. <laughs> you can tell that I'm a squire? <laughs> of course I can. Saray became the shepherd, and Miklio is now a sublord, correct? Which would mean that the Prime Lord is the Lady of the Lake, then. It has been a long time, Sir Zenris. I... You don't have to say anything. Oh, Zendris is a water seraph. Oh, that makes so much more sense. So it was Lila, Zoranus, Edna's brother, and Zavid. That was the four. <laughs> I got History excited. Repeats itself. It makes the world go round. It's, it's cool. true, but I still want to believe in them, and believe that they can bring forth a new future. Well. I'm glad you've all found such a nice Prime Lord. Hey, by the way, did my pipe come in handy? Yeah, you have it back. Oh, yeah. Don't worry about the pipe. As long as it was useful. Let me give it to you. Give it back. But I'll give it back. I don't need it anymore. Yeah, I got you. So Keep it for yourself. No. Really? I'm okay. You know, I've grown up a lot through this journey. Bratty as ever, aren't you? Please, take this with you. What did you Thanks, get? What did you give me? No, no. I should be the one thanking you. Why? What did you give me? I got an elixir for giving him that. Oh. Cocky how? But technically, that's what happened, so... Okay, okay. I still can't. I need to find Lorraine. I, for, I, I forgot. Saray, why don't we take a little break here? Okay. Are you tired? No, 
but it's a good idea to take a solid break to rejuvenate the soul. Totes, let's do it. <laughs> sure, I did want to chat with everyone in Alicia too. Okay. All right, we'll meet up later. By later, I mean bye. Let's go do it now. Leave. What? What are you doing, Miklio? Shh. I see. Just as I thought, they. Come on. Wait. I'm so sorry. I wasn't aware of it and made the pact. What? No, no. It was of their own decision that they made the pact with you. What they make of it will be up to them. I'll support them with all I have, so that we won't repeat the same mistake. We won't repeat. Don't be so hard on yourself. There was nothing you could do for the priest. So I was right. He was the water yes. seraph for the last shepherd. <sighs> I was right. Wonder. Surely I could have done more than I did back then. Everything is tied to their fate, and their fates are yet intertwined. Yes. Thanks to you, Sir Zenris. No. You and those kids forged that bond. My role in this is done. All I can do now is worry about them. There are times when things go awry, but their purity and virtue gives me hope. I want to accompany them on their journey. This time, there will be no regrets. I see. Perhaps this is also how humans and Seraphim should coexist as a whole. I'm glad I was able to talk to you. And I with you. Please, take care of them. Weren't they just talking about us? Looks like it. Why don't we ask? Miklio! <laughs> I guess we shouldn't eavesdrop on their conversation. <laughs> if Gramps has something to tell us, he'll tell us straight up. Yeah, same with Lila. <laughs> I'm gonna go bug him. Lila, I need you back. But I was right, so that means Zavid was Zavid, Edna's brother, Lila when she was young, um, younger, um, and Zerinius. Yeah, well, let's go sleep. Let's sleep. Sleep's a good idea. But yeah, I was right. This is so cool. But I think it'll further like inter like unwind the story, you know. Soon as we're done with like once we get closer and closer to the end of the um, game, but wow, that's really cool. A lot of traveling. Fuck you. What? Now what? Hi, Lila. Okay. 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 Yeah. Go to the bridge. Hopefully, I'm allowed to this time. It's kind of funny how the game stops me from um, over exploring. Like, if it's not a place I'm supposed to go, it puts a heavy domain in So, let's pray that the Great Camelot Bridge is what's gonna fuck you. It's what's gonna take me there. Okay, I pray that it is. Great Camelot Bridge. Okay, let's go. Please, 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 please. Yes! Okay, this is the bridge that I must take. That is so good. Okay, so I'm done with this chapter. I need some time to walk, actually, since we just went through losing Dezel to losing the held off. Now I'm kind of confused. I have some nerd-ish things. I need to process all of this, but in the meantime, 
Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.